that nervous look on your face when you're starting to think that you're talking too much. I like how we just met, and I'm not even slightly afraid to be opening up. I like that we've been sitting here, hands moving around the clock, and I still can't get enough. Rachel, as I stand before you today, I make these vows from the depths of my heart. I promise to love you always through the highs and lows of life with unwavering devotion and a love that knows no bounds. I will cherish you deeply, treasuring every moment we share and holding your heart close to mine. This journey we embark on today is one I eagerly embrace. And with you by my side, I am confident that our love will only flourish. With much love, Chandler. And I put a heart. <laughs> I feel so lucky to be chosen and loved by you. You are greater than my wildest dream. I cannot wait for the adventures to come. My heart overflows with joy, thinking of the family we will build together and the memories we will make. Chandler, today I choose you. I choose to always be honest. I choose to honor you. I choose to always be faithful to you. And most importantly, I choose to put my relationship with our Father first and push you towards Him always. I love you, Chandler, today, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives. Promise to always save me a seat next to you on the porch swing. Oh. <laughs> Here are some texts that Rachel sent me throughout your dating experience. He's just really thoughtful, but also just makes me have a lot of fun and laugh. I feel so cared for and sought after. I feel comfortable around him, like I'm 100% me. To hear these words from Rachel as a best friend gave me so much assurance that the Lord brought y'all together. We always joked around that, hey, we just need to find Chandler a good Christian gal. That's all we need. And ask and ye shall receive. I mean, Rachel, from day one, we could tell that you are such an incredibly kind and generous person. I want everyone to raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Lukes. Cheers, y'all. It is through your own okay. personal relationships with Jesus <laughs> that this marriage can thrive. Chandler, you can be the husband you're called to be. And Rachel, you can be the wife that you are called to be because Christ loved you first. And in his renewing of your very being, he has showered you with mercy and covered you with grace. He died so that you may live. Walk in that daily. Now pronounce them husband and wife. Chandler. Do it. You may kiss, <laughs> you may kiss your bride.